Hi everyone, this is Kylo and Mia. Welcome to another Kylo video. Yay! I'm here with my uh, large uh, Kylo Ren pillow buddy. Um, and in this video, I would like to show you um, the newest, the newest 12-inch uh, Kylo Ren figure that I got from the Last Jedi. So I'm gonna show you in two separate videos the action figure that I got from him. And uh, in this video, we'll have a look at this guy. So he is a little, yeah, figure that comes with a lightsaber. He has no hood. He has his outfit from the Last Jedi, and here is his picture. It's an awesome figure. Um, now what I can tell you about this figure, he is quite hard to find here in Belgium. Maybe because a lot of shops don't bring in that much Star Wars stuff. Uh, apparently there's also a Yoda and a Darth Vader available. Now I have about two Vader ones and uh, I would like to find Yoda, but as I said, these figures, they still have some left from the previous movies and that's maybe why they don't bring in the new ones i don't know but i never see i've never seen the ones with a white packaging so the ones from the last jedi are quite hard to find in regular toy shops i got mine in dreamland which is a larger toy shop like we don't really have much here but i also have an online section with a delivery um service in the grocery and stuff like this so maybe that's why these are like hasbro um, 12 inch figures and I'm really glad I got Kylo because um, He seems to be quite hard to find and I'm glad they released another figure of him I'm gonna show you the previous ones they made so this is the newer one and I have been collecting from the Force Awakens this guy so he is the hooded one um, And he has like a little shoe coming out here. That's really cute and he also has like the little stitching on his cloak. He looks a bit like, yeah, like a melting candle, but he is pretty detailed and quite okay for a toy. So yeah, I really like this figure and I've been keeping him ever since. That's why I'm glad I can add another Kylo 12 inch to my figure collection. Um, now like this, they also made one that has his hood down, but for that you need to get a package that contains about five or six figures I think and uh, like this you can get the Kylo without the hood but it's much to pay for just one figure so so far never got it um, and then there's the one from the smaller Hasbro assortment which looks like this and I was quite enthusiastic I could get this one um, he is not very big he has two shoes coming out which is really cute and uh, he looks, he's not very large, but he looks quite impressive and he has a nice, uh, it gives a nice impression for a toy. And I think this one is about 6 inch. It should be something about, yeah, 6 in, six inch, I think. He's the size of a Black Series figure. He's less detailed, of course, he's entirely made out of plastic. And he has a little waist articulation, so you can make him turn a bit like this. Um, of course, the head doesn't move because of the hood, but these are nice Kylo figures that have been released. So except from the one without a hood from The Force Awakens, I collect them all. And, well, there's this one from the Disney store up there. But he's from another assortment, he's not from Hasbro. Um, so yeah, I would like to unbox this one here and have a look. And this is him. Here he is. Now I pulled him out of the box already because I really needed my both hands for this. Um, his lightsaber is right behind him and it has a bit... It's a bit different compared with this one here. So yeah, let's remove his attachments and have a look. So here he is. So now you can see the back of course. And it is one pretty finished figure. It's not a figure that a, an intense collector might like. Um, but he is definitely really pretty and pretty finished as well. Um, I'm gonna make a little comparison with the previous one they make. Now first of all, what I notice when I'm holding this guy, I'm gonna show you the legs here, you can see his shiny boots. Um, now you can actually see his legs better. And um, 
that makes the figure have another, yeah, another um, look than than this one actually. When you see, oh, where is he? Kylo is hiding. Here he is. Now here the guy is a bit like more mysterious. In fact, yeah, because there's a lot hidden on him, like his legs and his head and stuff like this. Well, here, in general, it's a bit different. Um, but of course, yeah, that's how he is in the, in the Last Jedi, I suppose. Actually, I don't really remember so well. It's been a while I, see, I saw the movie. Um, and I, it's hard for me to focus on each and every detail. So, um, but yeah, his... Um, Clothes are made out of actually the same plastic that you can feel on action figures. So it, it, it isn't this raw plastic you have on this guy. This is just plastic and you can also see the separation between the legs and this piece here. Also on the back. And also, well, this little shiny part which I absolutely don't like. Yeah, well, it's not very... Um, it's not very finished, I think. Some parts of the cloak are really shiny, others aren't. It's just weird. I wasn't very pleased when I saw this in the first place. But on this guy, he's a bit more heavy too. He's like a bit more, yeah, well, the design is a bit more detailed. So this is the helmet. Of course, you don't see much of the helmet on this guy. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was the, um, this little piece that is missing. His cloak is just one piece coming over his legs. It is quite supple as well. Um, and also he has like an articulation in the arms. But it's hardly visible that his arms can move. So I'm very pleased to see that his figure looks more like a realistic body instead of just a plastic figure that's put together. Um, all those figures have this piece here. And it shows actually the articulation of the figure. Um, while here it is more like a figure and it looks entirely like, like a real person, in fact. So there's like no bolts visible or stuff like this. Also that little piece here. No, it's, it's just perfect. Um, also the material, his cloak and his arms are made of, I'm gonna say his tunic, uh, is made of, is really well made. It's not like this guy, it's a totally different material. So if you like Kylo, I would definitely advise or um, recommend this guy. Um, he is a bit different compared with this one, of course the size is the same. But when you look at those guys, well, they they just... Have another look, sorry for my camera. So from a certain point of view, they actually complete each other. That is a very nice conclusion. I really recommend them both. They might still be available, both of them. Um, now in fact this guy is made out of bit, yeah, a material that's a bit different compared with this guy. This guy is definitely heavier. And he actually feels even more sturdy. I really like the finishing they have been using on his cloak. This super plastic that gives the figure more the, the look of a collectible instead of a toy. Even though it's still a toy. Of course, his legs are made out of the same plastic as... Um, well, if this figure looks like, yeah, just being a little plastic case. This, this one isn't. Um... His legs, of course, still are, but his upper body is feels actually really sturdy. So, that's it for the Kylos. I put them here. And now let's have a look at the lightsabers. Now, in fact, when it comes on the hilt and the length, they're quite similar. So there's not that much to... Yeah, to differ on that point but I don't really know why they made a connection between the cross guard blades and the main blade um, on the very first one so this lightsaber belongs to this guy and the other here belongs to the new guy I'll just give you a nice 
view of so they are gray they're not very detailed um but for that Hasbro or those 12 inch figures aren't really the, the most uh, suitable assortment if you want detail um, on that point. So yeah. Actually this saber looks even more, yeah, looks even broader and sturdier, but in fact they're quite similar. And now they uh, corrected this part between the main blade and the cross guard blade, which is not bad. So I guess that's it for this figure. It is a nice figure to get, really. I really advise or uh, getting both. And I recommend this guy, uh, gonna put him up here now. I sold one of my figures, I still have it, I'm gonna sell it um, to have some room for this one. And I'm just so enthusiastic they made another Kylo figure. Also his helm is really sturdy. Now, of course, with the plastic envelope here, it's not really easy to find out. Now, when it comes on articulations, um, this guy has, like, articulations in his right arm, so not in the left one. Be careful, don't force it. Also, the head, like, no articulation because of the hood. But also, this one has just a naked mask. He doesn't have any articulation in his neck. So don't force it either, but he has articulation on both his shoulders and both his wrists and his legs. It's just that because of this little tunic being so, yeah, well, you can move the legs, but of course it's not very easy to have him stand in this position. So he only has hip articulation. Also just like this guy, but here of course it's obvious that his legs can be separated like this. So yeah, that's for the articulation. I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you have any questions about him, you can always leave them. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!